Okay, Thomas, you gotta be quiet while I do this. <laughs> You're good. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the herbs after they've gone through the summer. Now they've flowered because the herbs generally, even though they last all year long, uh, these will commonly go into flower towards the middle of summer. Once they flower, you can see, so this is all oregano over here. And there's this dead seed pod pretty much right there. And you can collect all these heads if you wanted um, and probably have quite a bit of seed in here. It's like dust almost. So let's see if I actually get to that. There it is. Got to get all the flower out of there. And what we'll see at the bottom, you're looking at those big pieces. That's not what it is. It's these little dust specks. Those dust specks are the seed. And I just kind of get rid of them. So <laughs> it's all gone unruly, huh? It's a big mess. What do we do? We get rid of the plants? No, we don't get rid of the plants. What we have to do in this situation, because what's happening right now is we are gonna start regrowing because these plants love winter. So as an example, I come right in and I've just got a pair of scissors here and I'm gonna start cutting everything about a couple inches off the surface is all. And you'll be able to see, and I've got a combo of mint and oregano in a lot of these pots. And these guys got really unruly this year. There might even be a critter of sorts living under it all. We've got like bergamot was down here, which you can see is trying to come back. We've got, I think valerian is down here, probably trying to come back also. So same thing, if you see this starting to happen where what we're seeing is green growth now, as we're coming into winter. Oh, look, I was looking for that tool. Um, <laughs> as we're starting to come into winter, what's so cool is you'll start seeing, and here's a perfect example. Now this has not even been getting water. I mean, really, this is dry as could be because it's dormant, remember? As summer seeding occurs, it starts making it go back. But what starts occurring? This light. You'd start seeing as we get into the cooler weather, it's gonna come right back if you haven't killed it. So, we come in, same thing on this guy here. I see the green growth at the bottom. Get some water on it if you're like me and they've been kind of sitting more dormant. Here's another example, another green leaf down in here. So, I come in and I'm basically gonna remove all of this back to this another thing is come in here and if you want to look at this oh fussy bottom you're okay point down here so when you're looking at this you see the scraggly noodle mess it starts to make <laughs> so this is what i do is start pulling the noodles up okay when you're getting out of control like this guys you can't just keep letting it do that every one of these look at this is a million plants okay so if you're not coming in and removing a lot of this it is gonna grow no matter what guys so, like I say, we don't have a lot to say about this except for um, herbs are super important and I let them go unruly into seed because we can collect seed. And that's super important too. You wanna to share the gift to others. But when it comes time to now, we're starting to see the growth down in here. Look at this guy, loaded down in there. You can see when it looks like baby clusters like this at the base, it's time you can come in and start removing. Let's get all this fresh growth going. And it applies to everything. We can pretty much come over here. You can see, excuse me, the tarragon. So, same thing. This is a form of Russian tarragon. It looks like a flat mess because my chickens lay their eggs in it and they love it. Once you get tarragon, it's not gonna go away. The greatest part about it is I come in, I cut same thing, like the oregano, like the mint. And I usually use my garden shears, but I didn't wanna go grab anything. Cut, 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 guys. You can dry the tarragon. It's great in nesting boxes. It's great in the chickens area. It also can just be good as tinctures and things, but don't waste it. You can see right here, look at this oregano mess. Again, <laughs> so it's time. You can tell when it's formed a matting, God, I use so much oregano. It's such a matting, I'm gonna be able to come in here with my shears, get down, cut it right at the pot height, Remove all this, throw it in the chicken coop, throw it on the ground, use it somewhere, make use of it all. Um, but all of these garden shrubberies, you're gonna want now to start cutting them back. 
come winter, um, if you don't, you just end up with such an unruly mess. It's just easier for them to start their shoot of new life without mm -hmm. all the extra hair on their heads. Um, <laughs> even you can look at our poor lavender, which looks like Bermuda found its way in here. Um, gosh, I need to collect lavender flowers because we've had so many orders. And if you look, uh, we're all pretty much deadhead from summer. So we've started getting some new heads in and you can see them, but not much right now. So I'm very excited about this cool down. Um, hoping to be able to again, get some good herbs cleaned up and ready for production for this winter.